At City College of San Francisco, my favorite demo for simple electric circuits makes use of a common and familiar automobile battery placed on my lecture table. Chemical reactions inside the battery produce a 12-volt potential difference across its terminals, which will produce electric current to a circuit connected to them. I can nicely show the effects of voltage by extending the terminals with a pair of brass rods, one fastened to each terminal. At the top of the rods, I place a couple of wooden balls, just to keep from poking my eyes out. I've connected small light bulbs to some short wires with alligator clips at their ends, to allow easily clipping to the rods. When I clip both ends of a wire to the same rod, the bulb doesn't light up. HC. How come? That's because there's no difference in voltage across the ends of the wire. No voltage difference, no current, no lighting of the bulb. When I clip the wire across the two rods, there is a potential difference between the ends of the wire. So charge flows through the wire and through the bulb filament, which lights up. What we have is a complete circuit. We can represent the circuit with a schematic diagram. Here's the symbol for the bulb's resistance and the symbol for the battery. Our bulb resistance is, say, 6 ohms and our battery, 12 volts. How much current is in the circuit from Ohm's law? I is B over R, 12 volts divided by 6 ohms. That's 2 amps. So 2 amps flows through the light bulb. The charge making up that 2 amps flows through the circuit, looping around and around, being energized each time it passes through the battery. What's interesting is to affix a second bulb between the brass rods. Same kind of bulb same 6 ohm resistance. As expected, it glows, just as brightly as the lower bulb, because each bulb carries the same amount of current due to the 12 volts across each of them. What we have now is a parallel circuit with two branches. Our schematic diagram now looks like this. 6 ohms here. How much current is in the top branch? 2 amps. And how much current does a battery now draw? The answer is 4 amps. In a parallel circuit, the charge that flows in one branch doesn't know about the charge flowing in another. The charge flowing, say through the lower branch, never sees the bulb in the upper branch. And charge flowing through the upper branch doesn't know about charge flowing through the bulb of the lower branch. The branches don't know each other. Charge flows through one or the other. It doesn't flow through each, as occurs in a series circuit. Speaking of a series circuit, let's look at a pair of the same 6 ohm bulbs in series, added to a third branch. But you know what? The bulbs don't glow as bright. HC? Because there's less current in the top branch. That's because there's twice as much resistance there, 12 ohms, the sum of the resistances of the two 6 ohm bulbs. With twice the resistance, the current's got to be half what it was in the, what is in each of the lower branches. And now our schematic diagram looks like this. The current in this top branch is 1 amp. Can you get it? And can you see now that the circuit draws 5 amps from the battery? You got this? I hope so. Let's see with this mini quiz. Let's ask how many amps flow through this place here. Let's call it point A, all right? And how many amperes flow by point B? Okay, some goes here, and how much is over here now? How many, how many amps flow by point C? And between the two top lamps, say point D? Huh? And how many flow through, say, point E? And how many amps flow by point F? And finally down through the battery, say at G, through here. Do you have those values? I hope so. Was your answer five amps by point A? And was your answer 3 amps by point B and 1 amp 
by point C. And between the bulbs also, one amp. Is that right? And at E, oh, oh, at E, hey, wait a minute. Zero amps at E, E is not a part of the circuit. There's no charge going from one terminal to the other that has a path that includes E. E is extraneous to the circuit. So no current will be at that point. And down here at F, did you say 3 amps? I hope so. And through the battery, 5 amps? If so, you got it. Wonderful. Now let me ask a concluding question. Let's suppose the circuit remained just as it is, except that we power it with a 6-volt battery. If we do that, will the current in all the bulbs be one half? Think about that. Until next time, good energy. Mm -hmm.